Yo, what's up, YouTube? But today I got this uh, XF Power 550 milliamp 470C. I'm just gonna give you a heads up. It's a really bad battery, so I split it apart in two, so I could use it with uh, my Elf. And I only got like about two minutes with it. With the original battery, I get like about five minutes, and the original is like 600 milliamps. Well, this is 550 milliamps, so it didn't make sense to me. So I went ahead and checked the internal resistance. This is the two of the cells in in series, and look at that. You get 72 milliohms and 63 milliohms. Why that might not seem a lot because it's in milliohms. This is actually a lot of internal resistance for one of these light bulbs especially rated at 70 C so just to show you how much one of these regular Gaonam uh, 850 milliamp 4 s A80 C to 6 160 C which I don't know if that's true uh, So, 11 milliamps for the first cell, 11 milliohms for the second cell, 8 milliohms for the third cell, and 8 milliohms for the fourth cell. So as you can see, that's what a regular new battery should look like, compared to that, what was it, like 73 and 60 something, I don't really remember. So, I don't recommend these XF power batteries. Um, especially w the moment I got it, I did a, a little test on it, checking the voltage of each individual cell, and they were all about like 3.95 volts, which is not storage. So they didn't store this properly and probably um, got bad, or they just suck at making batteries. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more FPV related content.